Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're going to learn together how to upgrade our BIOS on our computer um, while you're on Linux. We all know it's easy to uh, upgrade a BIOS on, on Windows because normally manufacturers include an app like Dell, they include support assist and some manufacturers make it really easy when you go to their website, you just download an exe file and you just double click on that exe file on windows and you go through the process through their app you just go into the app they have a section to up update bios or to find updates and you just it'll tell you if there's an update for your bios and that's it on linux it's a little different uh, we need to update our bios because bios is very critical to your uh, computer and if you don't update it often you might get some uh, you know security holes in your system or other issues like sometimes your system can't recognize your new cpu or ram uh, but before we go into the process let's uh, get into some background what is bios bios stands for basic input output system it's uh, a program that your computer's microprocessor uses to start the computer system uh, after it's powered on uh, which means when you press the power button uh, the bios actually jumps up your computer and starts your operating system it also uh, manages the flow, uh, the data flow between uh, your uh, your computer operating system and the attached devices like your printer, your hard drive, your uh, keyboard, your mouse, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, there are multiple essential things that you can do uh, through the BIOS. For example, uh, you can enable virtu virtualization uh, because sometimes some laptops or computers come with a virtualization disabled uh, and you can go into the BIOS and enable that oh, by the way virtualization is where you can actually get virtual machines running onto your laptop for some reason some manufacturers turn it off uh, uh, out of the box also what you can do through the BIOS is limit your battery charge to a certain percentage uh, this helps prolong the battery health like for example on my laptop right here uh, I went into the BIOS and told the BIOS, hey, uh, I want my battery to charge at 89% and stops after that. And I want to start recharging after I hit uh, 50%. And you can actually set a certain time of the day. Uh, that will help your battery last longer. Also, you can change the boot sequence from the BIOS. You can enable or disable secure boot. Um, on, uh, and actually on, on some laptops, you can switch between UEFI uh, and legacy and so on and so forth. Uh, there are benefits to updating your BIOS. I'm going to mention three of them, I think, and then we'll go from there. Uh, first benefit is hardware updates. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, updating your BIOS will help your motherboard recognize your newer hardware. Let's say, let's say you're trying to, up, you know, you're upgraded your system, like you put in a new CPU, a new RAM, and for maybe your computer wouldn't recognize the new RAM or new CPU. Uh, Sometimes it means that you need a new BIOS upgrade. The second one is security. This is obvious. The latest BIOS updates sometimes come with security updates that help your BIOS to resist tampering, uh, backdoors, security holes, uh, and also it increases awareness of uh, boot sector viruses, and that is only when your motherboard supports uh, boot sector scanning. The third one is increased stability. Uh, as bugs and other issues are found with motherboards, the manufacturer will uh, release BIOS updates to address and fix uh, some bugs. This can have a direct impact on the speed of data transfer and processing in your computer. I've done this on Dell again, uh, but I'm not sure how it works on other manufacturers, and I'm sure it's the same principle. So, how do we do this on Linux? Uh, first thing you need to do is... Uh, find your manufacturer website. I actually put it in a list for you guys. So right here. So first thing you need to do is uh, I'm sorry, you need to find out the ver BIOS version on your computer. To do that on Linux, you just open a terminal and then type in this command right here. Click enter. Make sure it's a uh, root user because the, re the reason why it's uh, it needs to be root because it's actually accessing your hardware information and that needs root permission. Uh, so now here you click enter, you put your password, and now I have the 118. The second thing you need to do is, oh, make sure you memorize this or just keep it open. You know which one you have just in case 
you already have the latest update and then the second one find out the service tag model number serial number like on my dell laptop right here uh dell for some reason uh call the serial number ser service tag i'm not sure why but that's their way of doing it and you can also use the model number uh, and to do that you can run one of these two uh, commands i prefer the the second one because it gives a, a, a more detailed list so we're going to copy this paste it in a terminal and then click enter password and that's the list right here it tells you the manufacturer uh the the product name the serial number which is a service tag on my computer and then other other stuff you take that and then you go to your manufacturer's website but this video specifically um, is made for Dell. So now you go to literally all you have to do is go to Google, search for Dell uh, BIOS update. And then I would choose the second one. And when you click it, it takes you to this page. You take your service tag. You copy it and paste it in here. And then you click search. Uh, sorry, let me do this real quick. Copy. Paste here. Search. And it brings you to this page. This is my laptop. And you will see drivers and downloads. You come to this section right here. See, it only says Windows, no Linux. You click on this little triangle or the whole thing. And you choose BIOS. Now it'll show you the BIOS, uh, the latest version they have. You click on this little arrow. You see they have the 118. Actually, before I do this video, mine was 117. So all you do is click download. You save it to wherever you want it to be. And now you grab a USB stick. You format it. The USB stick has to be formatted to FAT32. Uh, I use uh, GNOME disks. You can use your favorite uh, software it's up to you but I like GNOME discs you insert USB stick you click on this right here and then you can see mine is already uh, formatted and I named it uh, BIOS FAT32 right here not mounted but I'm gonna do it again just to show you now you come to this one it says additional partition options you click it and then you go to format format partition you name it name it something easy and you can remember and then i choose uh, the second one which is for use with all systems and devices which is fat that next it'll give you a warning go ahead wait for it's done that's it done now we'll go to our file system file manager and go to where we downloaded our BIOS update right here. You, you can change the name if you want, anything you want, short, small, it doesn't matter. Uh, to copy it and put it in that USB stick that I named BIOS. And now we reboot. Okay, let me switch cameras and I will show you the rest of the video. All right, now we're going to reboot. And while we're rebooting, whenever we see the Dell uh, logo, we keep pressing F12 repeatedly. see this menu you use the arrows to go all the way down where it says BIOS flash update you click enter and you will see this menu you come to this where it says BIOS update file non selected and then you choose this box you click it and then there is your update file that we just downloaded don't touch anything else just click it highlight it and then click OK and that's it. You do this one right here, begin flash update. And it'll give you a warning. 
want to proceed yes of course i'm not gonna interrupt it blah 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 connect to ac power yes and let it finish the thing there you go don't interrupt it don't unplug your power uh leave it unplugged in don't turn off your computer because this could ruin a lot of things so let it let it finish and until, until it tells you uh flash or update successful and then it'll reboot on its own There you go. Firmware updated successful. Rebooting your system. Now we'll just leave it alone until it uh, goes to the first screen. There you go. We're all booted up. I'm going to log in and I'll see you in the next screen. Okay. Now we're all booted up. Um, we're updated. Let's suppose you had 1.17 before the update now we're going to go to the terminal and check on the version that we installed if it's installed or not you just type in this update i mean uh, this command click enter your password and then voila there is your uh, version you should be all updated it's very easy very simple all i did is just do some research uh, nothing special really uh, you can do it too if you have any question make sure to let me know in the down, uh, down in the comment section below if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and uh, that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys